Many researchers have explored the benefits to using social media in the classroom. Upon investigation, there are five main themes that repeatedly arose as substantial evidence for why educators should use Twitter in their classrooms. Students have the opportunity to follow other Twitter users who are outside of their classroom environment. Now, students can reach out to other members in the community and ask questions or simply interact with the conversation that is happening in real time. In a focus on students' use of Twitter, their interactions with each other, content, and interface, written by Pestridge in 2014, the author suggests that Twitter emphasizes Vygotsky's concept of zone proximal development by allowing students to interact with more experienced members in society. Twitter was found to promote equity of student voice in the class because students have more opportunities to ask questions through the Twitter platform. Students can get their questions answered by peers, instructors, and outside the classroom individuals. In a study written by Ronaldo et al., students expressed that using Twitter has made them feel more comfortable engaging in discussions during class time. In a study conducted by Junko, Alafsky, and Heiberger, the authors reported that students who participated in Twitter experimental group showed significant increase in engagement scores. Pestridge, 2014, further explained that when students used Twitter, they interacted more with the material because they were paraphrasing and applying content using their own written and spoken language. This contributed to a deeper understanding of the content that they were studying. One interesting topic that arose in my research was that Twitter promoted critical literacy, which is defined by Kunith and Jackson as the understanding of democracy, equity, and social justice. This is because students can challenge ideas posted by other individuals and question the validity of it, which promotes the concept of democracy. The use of social media, specifically Twitter, fostered a community feeling and enhanced student relationships with teachers, peers, and others who also use Twitter. Since students can communicate and ask questions, they can have more frequent interactions. Becker and Bishop further argued that student communication on Twitter can promote student work to an authentic audience. Twitter has many beneficial uses, but perhaps teachers may not know how to incorporate it into their daily classroom activities. The following explores how a teacher can integrate Twitter into their classroom. Teachers can ask students to participate in classroom discussions. In a research study, Knight and Kay argue that students can post questions during lectures and get answers from their peers. Classroom discussions can be increased, which allows students exposure to peer perspectives as well as teacher perspectives. Teachers can allow students to post questions throughout a lesson or outside of classroom time. Prestridge argues that Twitter can show a teacher what students may be struggling with by acknowledging the trends in their questioning. This helps teachers better address the needs of their students. Becker and Bishop explained that Twitter can provide opportunities for formative assessment, where teachers can gain quick insights into student misconceptions. Teachers can pose formative questions and ask students to respond both in class and out of class. Teachers can then offer formative feedback, which ultimately helps build student understanding. Do your students constantly ask for reminders for quiz and test days? Do you keep having to repeat that key information? Blessings et al. explains that tweets can serve as short reminders for content, which contributes to successful long term memory retention. Twitter allows for peer modeling by allowing others to see classmates' discussion ideas and posts. This can help students address misconceptions and unfamiliarities in various topics. It is also helpful for giving students multiple perspectives so that they may see the arguments of others and consider their thoughts. Since Twitter is a service that is free, teachers can invite parents to follow a classroom Twitter handle. Carpenter and Krutka argue that if using Twitter in elementary school, Parents can be an active part of their child's education by seeing posts and commenting on what their child is doing in the classroom. 
While there are many benefits to using Twitter, there are also a few challenges that teachers can face if trying to implement Twitter in their classroom. Edgar and Bishop argue that sometimes it can be difficult to find classroom time to guide students in how to use Twitter and to set and practice norms and expectations regarding personal conduct in a virtual space. To counter this, proper teacher training is necessary for successful integration. Tang and Hugh explain that since Twitter is a public open space, using Twitter can often lead to privacy issues. To counter potential privacy issues, educators have to model and teach appropriate internet behaviors. Further, Becker et al. 2016 explains parents should have the option to opt out of their children using Twitter. Now that you know how Twitter can serve your students, let's discuss how Twitter can help you, the teacher. Natchimson 2020 explains that Twitter can serve as an effective professional learning environment by exposing teachers to technology resources that they previously had no experience using. Learning new tools and ways to better instruction contributes greatly to professional development. Further, Notchimson explained that teachers reported a sense of belonging when using Twitter by providing an environment for teachers to learn, gather, and collaborate.